Hey folks, this is IO Ether, and we are back playing some more World of Tanks. So, as you can tell, this is a tank company battle. This is the new Korean map that I can't. Sacred Valley, that's the one. Wow, that was almost horrible. So, this is a really good team we're playing against. That's why you see in the chat, Eve is already telling us to load gold. <laughs> And I either didn't notice that or didn't think I needed to, but I don't know which. I'm gonna guess I didn't notice it. So I didn't load gold. Now Chaos is out in front. He is going to be pulling all of us in the same direction. Unfortunately, not all of us. Well, no, we, could, we just can't drive together, apparently. There's all a whole. A whole team of good players, and yet we're smacking into each other like we're a bunch of kids on the playground. Oh well. So now their Hellcats are heading up that way, and we're just gonna cut right underneath them. We're fairly certain that they're not gonna have anything down here. And if they do, what are they gonna do? Stop an entire team shoving themselves down their throat? Probably not. So, at this next turn coming up, Chaos is going to have the VK's turn and go up the path leading up towards the Hellcats. Meanwhile, everything else is just going to shove down to their cap and try and cap them out. Now, we XVM said we had something like a 30% chance to win this game. So we're really not going to take any chances and just try and murder everything. We're actually just going to try and win the game any means possible. If that means we have to cap them out, we have to cap them out. So we start getting hit by these KV-1Ss that we're going north and now we're coming back. We're scrambling to get to the cap and reset. And we're just trying to take it the lead KV-1S. There we go. One down. Okay. Chaos is calling another target and we're all firing shots into it you can see we have five UKs with the Cornish firing down and anything we decide to kill is, is going to end up dead one KV wants to slip through I don't know how he got through but he did and apparently I was too sniped in to notice him that was my bad. But we capped the enemy base, and this is a win. It's a rather short game, yes, but it is the win. That's what matters. Okay, let's, let's go on to the next game, huh? Hey, folks, and we're back. So, XVM was telling us something. We had something like a 28% chance to win this game. It wasn't high. It wasn't great. We had already fought this particular team twice or three times this evening and had been stomped by them twice and I think we actually ended up winning one of those games, but it wasn't by much. So this is like the third or the fourth time around, and I'm sitting here because I'm still calling orders. Now all of, I'm having all of our tanks except for a few of them. The KV-1Ss are going into the forest. I need them for eyes slash speed bumps, and everything else is going south. So I really thought the, the KV-1 Ashes were going to be sacrificial lambs. I was predicting that their six KV-1 Ss would come barreling through the forest and that our two KV-1 Ss would go down firing. It's not quite how this worked out. Now, some of our, our Cromwell got up high. He's going to start getting lights for us. And when we can, we're going to take shots. Now, I didn't want my guys peeking and poking. So, we're just getting lights and then firing into them. We're going to let them come to us. Okay, now we got shots. Enemy is 
so we're gonna take shots where we can and focus down that suicidal we keep KV on us. I guess he's trying to get spots for everybody else. That's a really unfortunate way to get spots. Now, at this point, I've told my K1S's I need you guys to hit them from behind. It looks like their entire team is here. So our K1S's are actually circling around and firing as they go. And you'll see massive damage come pouring off the enemy as we've got them pretty much just cornered in this little spot. Now, Ronak was trying to flank them and he got himself into a bad spot and he got way too far ahead. But it happens and he did pull enough of their guns around that we were able to start getting some serious kills on them. Now they're spread out, which is bad for them. Which means we can focus one down at a time. And I did not notice our friendly K1S burning over there before. Well, I hope you bring a uh, fire extinguisher next time. There we go. Now. Yes, we're, technically we're even. We've actually done a lot more damage to them than they have to us. And this VK crew is mostly full health. Well, a couple of us have actually taken shots and the rest of us are just going to continue into them. Now I'm trying to get up here because I really want to kill some of these one-shotters. And hey, if I can get free shots on an SU-100, I'm gonna take free shots on an SU-100. Okay, next is that K1S. Everyone's trying to kill him. There's a couple of guys around here that are really one shots and somebody should have killed them already. Oh, there they go. Good. Good. And now we're just going to swarm these guys and make them feel horrible. There we go. And that was game. So the reason that, that we won that was pure and simple that they got stuck right here in this this killing ground we had tanks through in the village throughout the village we had hellcats behind them cave one s is behind them and the vks in front of them i believe our crummy who was doer was spotting for us most of that time and it was just really well put together the uh Everybody focused fire when we could. It, their team was good enough, though, that they got their low health and almost dead friendlies out of the way. So by the end there, we were just killing one-shotters because they had pulled back all their one-shotters. So they couldn't get killed. That kept their force alive longer, kept more guns in play. It was actually a really good match, and I was really honored to have not only played them, but actually have beaten them. Mostly because when we went into that game, we were fairly certain we were dead. But that's not really the point. We lost three guys, sadly. Bacon, I'm fairly certain, was taken out. Or, sorry, Dueler was taken out uh, to get the eyes off them. Our Cave one s over here, unfortunately, got maybe a little bit too close. But he was also burning. That was bad. And Ronick, I don't know why Ronick died way over there. Uh, I guess he... I have no reasoning as to why Ronick was way over there. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. He should have stuck with the other Hellcat. But, I don't know. I'm sure at the time there was something that, that told Ronick he needed to go over there. He's a good enough player. He wouldn't have just run off by himself. So... 
I only did a thousand damage that game. I know there are a couple of guys on our team that did much better than that. Thank you so much for watching. And guys, it doesn't matter if you're on a TC or a regular game. Just because XVM tells you you're going to lose does not mean it's telling the truth. These guys made a stupid mistake by all bunching up here. It would have worked if we'd done a force push. If we'd done a force push, they would have capped us out before we could have reacted. We didn't do a force push. I only, I left our two, you know what? For the makeup and the build I was going for, I will say I left our two weakest guys in the forest and the rest of us pushed on the cap. And they didn't expect to be a hit from behind by cave one S's and that's what killed them. Thank you very much for watching guys. Thank you for hitting that like button or the subscribe button. I will see you next time. IO Aether out.